Hi everyone, welcome to MSCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we'll be making magic puffing paint. For this project you will need flour, salt, baking powder, some paper, some small bowls, food coloring, water, measuring spoons, and a measuring cup. You can also grab a paintbrush and a spoon for mixing. I'll let you pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move some things out of the way. The first thing that I'm going to do is make my flour mixture. The flour mixture will use the quarter cup for my flour and half a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'll grab one of my small bowls, use my fourth a cup to get some flour, dump in a fourth a cup of flour, and get half a teaspoon of baking powder. Next, I want to mix my flour mixture really well. You want to make sure that all of the flour and all of the baking powder are well mixed. The baking powder is what makes this paint magically puff up when you put it in the microwave. After I've mixed up my flour mixture really well, I'll set it aside. Next, I'll grab my smaller bowl so I can make my paint mixture. My paint mixture will use one tablespoon of my flour mixture, one teaspoon of salt, a few drops of food coloring, and two teaspoons of water. First, I'll grab my tablespoon and get one tablespoon of my flour mixture. I'll put it in my small bowl. Next, I'll grab my teaspoon and get one teaspoon of salt. Then I'll grab my food coloring and choose what color I'd like my paint to be. I think I'll make some red. The more food coloring you add, the more colorful and saturated, so the darker your paint color will be. Finally, I'll grab my teaspoon and put in two teaspoons of water. Then I'll use my spoon to mix up my paint. You want your paint mixture to be kind of thick. That looks about right. Now that I have my paint, I can use the leftover flour mixture to make other colors. I think I'll just stick to my red for right now. I'll grab a sheet of paper and my paintbrush, and now I can make whatever shapes I want. You can use your imagination to make lots of different shapes. Right now, I'm making a J for Julia, like my name, but you could make any sort of animals or other fun shapes or something maybe you see outside. Once you're happy 
with how your painting looks. Then we're going to put it in the microwave. That's where the fun magic part happens. This paint will get puffy when it's in the microwave. Here I've made a J and a little heart. I think I'm happy with how my painting looks, so I'm going to go put it in the microwave. I'm going to show you a video of one of the paintings that I did earlier. I'll put the painting that I did in the microwave earlier right here. You can see that I've put it in the microwave. I'll press the 30 seconds and let it go. If you watch closely, you'll see it puffing. That's really cool. When your painting is done, make sure to have your grown-up help you take it out of the microwave because it will be hot. You'll want to let it cool off for a few minutes before you can touch it. Please remember to have your grown-up help you with the microwave step so that you don't hurt yourself. Now that my painting has had a chance to be in the microwave, I can show you it. Here's an example of one that I did earlier. This one is a blue heart. Do you see how it's puffy off the page? That's really cool. Here's a few other examples of other paintings that I made with my puffy paint. Look at how 3D and off the page they are. That's really fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed making your magic puffing paint and have fun making different creations. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!